What's up everybody, Ryan McNeil, trickstars.com. Today's video, how to crate train your new puppy. You like being in there, Daisy? You're comfortable, aren't you? I think she likes it. <laughs> Come on, baby, I'll let you out. Come on. There you go. I can't shut it. So this is Daisy. This is my sweet little Cavalier Spaniel. She's uh, a one and a half. She's getting close to one and a half years old. But she'll sit here with me while we give you guys some pointers on how to crate train your dogs. Isn't that right? You are so beautiful, my goodness. So to start with, you need to get a crate, preferably one with more than one lock because Cavalier Spaniels and possibly your dog as well might be smart enough to open the latch. My little boy Winston is very smart and he has figured out how to open multiple latches. So I have to be careful if I leave him in this kennel, this is why I got a new one, because he can open these latches. So I don't know if your dog will be the same. Once you have your crate and your new puppy, you wanna put it in your room near your bed or in your office, wherever you spend large amounts of time so that your puppy can begin to get used to being around and inside the crate uh, while they're still near you and they feel safe. This is my boy Winston. He's also a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. We will be having puppies um, later in the year, maybe early next year, but once you have your crate and your new puppy and you have placed it near your office or your bedroom, wherever you're gonna be spending time, periodically place your puppy in the crate and play with them, interact with them, show them some attention while they're inside the crate with the door open. You can do this using treats or toys, whatever it is, but just spend some time with your puppy in the crate. I love these puppies so much. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos. If you don't mind, smash that like button. And uh, if you wanna see more content like this, hit subscribe, uh, I post every day. And a lot of traveling, a lot of videos, the daily vlogs and that sort of thing. But I do my big dog videos um, on the weekends and whenever I feel like making one. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Let's continue. So once your dog has begun to make a good association with its crate and coming in and out of it with the door open while you're interacting with them, then you can start beginning to leave them in their crate. And uh, you do this at night and it's gonna be hard to resist the urge to let them sleep in your bed, but it's really not good for them to begin with. And they will wake you up several times throughout the night to have to go pee or go out potty. And that's just something that you have to deal with. They will cry, they'll wake up, you get up, you let them out and put them back in their crate and they'll be okay. They will begin to have a very nice, comfortable association with their crate and going to bed at night. Your puppy will adapt to this routine really quickly and soon begin to really enjoy being in its crate and will associate a lot of comfort and peace with its little space. So it's kind of like you have in your own bedroom. This is Daisy. Remember what I talked about in the last video about her licking all the time? There she goes. If you haven't seen that video, click up here you can watch that video. A few things that bug me about Cavalier Spaniels. <laughs> she licks a lot and wins some peas and stuff. Spoiler alert. And the last few tips I have for crate training your puppy would just be to make sure that you praise them when you let them out and you show them lots of attention while they're in their cage and talk to them from your bed or from your office chair or wherever so they get more comfortable being there and knowing that you're there for them and you love them. Also, try to resist the urge to let them sleep in your bed at a young age. I know it's tempting and eventually that's where they're gonna be. Let's all be real here. But when they're young, it's really important that they establish a place as their own, that's safe, that when they go, they go to sleep. Hey baby, are you asleep? Are you asleep? You're a good girl. You're a good girl. Just like that, she's going straight to bed. She just gets near the crate and she goes to sleep. I know master trainer over here anyways guys that's all i have for you thank you so much for watching my video ryan mcneil trickstars.com hit that subscribe button see you guys tomorrow peace